Hi, my name is Taylor Moore. In my free time, I really enjoy off-roading. Over the past couple of years, I've been able to combine my passion and hobby with 3D printing. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the complete design to print process. While on dirt roads or trails off-road, it is common practice to deflate or reduce the air pressure in your tires for better driving control and comfort. But after the trail has been finished, we need to air the tires back up, which is why I designed the Stealthport Air. This part provides me the ability to get compressed air from my truck's onboard air system to reinflate my tires. Stealthport was designed to take the space of an unused component on my truck and give it a functional use while retaining the factory designed aesthetics. From the beginning of the project, I knew that I wanted to utilize additive manufacturing and more specifically HP Multijet Fusion. Since these parts and assemblies are being used on the exterior of a vehicle, the assembly needs to be rugged and hold up to a wide variety of environmental conditions. The HP MJF process also produces a finish that looks fantastic when placed up against OEM factory parts. When creating the base feature of the assembly, I wanted to prevent the assembly from loosening over time due to vibration. I used threaded features to add a thread to the base and its matching mounting nut. The re a removable one-time crush shim was added to securely wedge the base assembly into the bumper when the mounting nut was tightened down. Set screws were incorporated into the nut to purposely deform those threads to prevent the nut from backing off and preventing the assembly from coming loose over time. On the user side, I designed a hinge feature that incorporates a press fit stainless steel pin to create a strong hinge point for the cap to hinge from. The dust cover cap uses a compliant mechanical feature to snap to that stainless steel pin and secure it to the base. Snap features were used to keep the dust cover closed and shut when not in use. And lastly, instructions were incorporated and printed right onto the parts for easy reference and air was embossed onto the cap to let people know where the air source on the truck is located. Additive manufacturing has allowed me to create an assembly where 95% of the features are printed. With the ability to easily access my air supply on the trail, I have saved time deploying my equipment and filling my tires with air. When I am done, I simply give the air chuck a twist to the left to depressurize the air hose and then a twist to the right to release the air hose from the chuck. Then I close the cap, wrap up my hose, so that way I can get on the road to my next adventure. Contact us today if you'd like to learn more about 3D printing.